The newly created grants program is called GIFTS, Grant Initiatives for Today's Students. The experience of calling these schools to tell them that they had received these awards to a school, the excitement just flew over the phone. In fact, one principal called me back. She had her whole faculty around her. They were thrilled. You could hear the cheering across my office into the suite where I work. These grants are making a difference in projects that are directly impacting students and students' learning in most cases, or in all cases, helping the schools to be more sustainable. My name is Frank Edgeworth and I'm the principal at St. Thomas Aquinas Academy. A huge push for me last year was not only to offer coding and robotics and 3D printing, but to offer it for free to every single student. And through the GIFTS grant, we were able to do that. So you want to try to get it to go all the way around the table? Our students are learning cutting edge technology and curriculum that no other school in this neighborhood is offering. And when they could see something moving around because they've coded it or they've told it to do that, that's what's really sparking their interest of, oh, how could I use this? And then we talk to them about how NASA uses a 3D printer to make their own parts. You can import it and put it on like a flash drive and then you stick it in the computer and it goes, okay. You put Before our leadership opportunities would have only been through sports. But now we have this other outlet where students can step up as leaders and lead their entire class. And I can't thank the donors enough because they've made this possible for our students. They've made our vibrant Catholic community even more vibrant, all because of that grant. It's been amazing. I'm Rhea Schramm, I'm the principal of St. Mary's Parish School in Hales Corners. Through the GIFTS grant, we created Faith in Our Families. We not only provide academic excellence, but we're first and foremost a Catholic school. We saw a need to make sure that our parents were part of a greater community through Mass. I think that Mass is foundational in people's relationship with God, and the more we can do to encourage people to come and really open their hearts while they're there. I think there's just nothing better that we could do. We planned a mass and hike for families. We attended mass together and then went and spent time together out in nature, which was beautiful. Students are actually really excited to go to Mass through the Kids Club, patterned after the library reading program. The kids are driving that desire to go to church with their families, and that helps mom and dad out a lot when you know that the kids are the ones saying, let's go today. We put together a monthly newsletter that has resources for parents. These resources are only made possible through the Gifts Grant. The program at St. Mary Hills Corners is just one example of a program that involves parents directly in their children's education, in this case, through the most important part of their education, which is their growth in faith. What makes me most grateful is that people are giving to all of the aspects that really will cultivate the next generation of Catholics. My name is Marka Ostap and I'm the principal at Pius XI Catholic High School. The warm and caring and welcoming community that we have at Pius isn't just relegated to students who achieve at a certain level, that we're able to welcome students in our community who may be struggling academically. And because of the generosity of the gifts program, it's making that dream come true for a very wide group of students. This grant provided us the opportunity to invest in this STAR Progress Monitoring software, which we're able to administer for our students and get real-time data on where they are, not only from a curriculum standpoint, but also from a skill standpoint. This program at Pius XI Catholic High School enables teachers to work individually with students to ensure that they are mastering the skills, the competencies that they need to be successful. And it gives us the incredible opportunity to have the data at the disposal of the teachers with teaching tips throughout so that teachers know the sorts of things that can be employed in the classroom to help that specific student succeed. 
One of the wonderful things about working in Catholic education is you know that there's so many people who are part of your community that are outside the walls, not just parents and alums, but people who believe so strongly with what we do that they're willing to help the incredible kids that are in our school every day succeed. I want to say to all donors, you are Catholic education in the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. You are a part of our educational community in ways you will never know. You are a gift to us. The building of lives that you are enabling will be a gift to you, to your world, and to the church into the future.